I mean, I think this question gets even more complicated when we start to realize that um, many of the decisions we make that feel the most conscious um, aren't necessarily the ones that are the best decisions. Yeah. Um, I mean, Danny can speak to this more than I can, but I think the puzzle gets bigger because if you think of the stuff that you do that's not conscious, like not getting hit on the way here and those kinds of things, from a natural selection perspective, those could be the ones that you know, are, are doing a lot of the hard work of staying alive and getting mates and so on. Um, I think mean, we just don't have an evolutionary answer to that question right now. I think if we did, you know, the theory of consciousness would be in much better shape. But one way to put the basic question of consciousness is why didn't evolution just produce a race of zombies? You know, these, uh, these physical systems that went around doing all this stuff without consciousness at all. I mean, it didn't. Consciousness is there. So you might think there's reasons to think that it, in fact, has some function. But every time someone proposes a function, <laughs> it looks like, boy, you can do all that in principle without consciousness.